When it comes to releases, this is probably one of the busiest weeks we have seen in a while. I am your host, Jacques Slade, and this is The Heat Check. Basketball fans that don't want to spend $200 on a basketball sneaker can pick up the highly recommended Superfly 4 from Jordan brand. The model released in this, the Marvin the Martian colorway, as well as a black colorway earlier this week, and you can actually grab a pair for $150 right now over at Finish Line. If you want to keep it basketball, but take it old school, the Air Max 294 for Charles Barkley actually dropped today in its classic colorway for $140. And if you want your basketball sneakers cut low, the LeBron 12 Low Court Purple, which kind of feels like a Toronto Raptors colorway, actually arrived today as well, and that one's going to cost you $175. Switching to running, we get our first look at the men's and women's Nike Lunar Glide 7. As the name suggests, these are packing Lunar with a mix of Flyknit and Flywire on the upper. Those are available at finish line and will cost you $125. Not bad for some Flyknit. Now, if Air Max is more your flavor, the Air Max 2015 arrives in three different varieties this weekend. There's a premium, which adds some Camel Love, a premium Flyknit, which obviously adds Flyknit to the mix, and then there is the Anniversary, which shows some love for the colorway of one of the shoes I love, the Air Max 95. Those those will cost you $200 for the premium and $225 for both the anniversary and for the Flyknit pairs. Switching to Friday, Adidas is giving us two pairs to look forward to. The first pair is brought to us by Pharrell on the Superstar. As always, Skateboard P adds his own flavor to the design, and you can grab this pair for $100 at finish line. On the signature side, Adidas has the Forest of Portland-inspired d Little One. That brown upper actually looks kind of nice, and those will cost you $105. Nike Basketball is getting in the mix as well and has the Penny 4 in the red and white colorway. Those will cost $185 for any penny lovers out there. Switching to Saturday, it looks like the mostly grade schoolers are getting all the love this weekend. There's the Sprite colored KD8, that green and blue really pops on these and that one's gonna cost you $135. There's also the Jordan 7 in black and gray and fuchsia for the ladies, that one's $140. And last but not least, the Jordan Sun of Mars in black with the cool green outsole. Those also drop on Saturday over at finish line and will cost you the usual $160. I told you there was a lot dropping this week. If you missed any of the shoes I mentioned, or if you need more info, or if you just want to pick those shoes up, be sure to use the links down below. It has all the information you need. Also, be sure to subscribe and hit that thumbs up button. It definitely helps us out. I am your host, Jacques Slay. This is the Heat Check presented by Finish Line. And as always, I appreciate you. You guys be safe out there. I'll see you soon. Peace. We know about the awards, we know about the wins, and we know about the championships. But not many know where it started. This is Wilmington, North Carolina, where his story began. He honed his skills at this house and started making a name for himself at this gym. This is Laney High School, where you can say the story of Michael Jordan started to take flight.